Hello, my name's Andy Rouse. I'm the Flex Shooter Evangelist and I'm also a professional wildlife photographer. And in my wonderful job traveling around the world over the past couple of years, I've used the wonderful Flex Shooter heads in all kinds of situations. I absolutely love them. And over the next few minutes, I wanna show you all of the heads in the range and everything that they do. So without further ado, let's begin. All right, there are three heads in the range and one very special head attachment. And I just quickly wanna show you what they are. So you can see the different sizes. So let's start off with the Flex Shooter Extreme. Uh, it weighs 1.1 kilos and it's really the big daddy of the range. It supports a massive weight. I mean, it, like, literally a red camera you could put on here. Um, it's, quite, it's quite compact, but 1.1 kilos. It's certainly no lightweight. This is the main one that people use. This is the Flex Shooter Pro. It's 0.6 kilograms. It will take a 600 uh, with a decent DSLR or a decent video camera. Um, and it's, it only weighs 0.6 kilos and it's very light as you can see. And then the baby of the range, and I'll, I'll use the Pro to compare the size, is this one, which is the Flex Shooter Mini. And it's designed for those of you that have got smaller cameras, perhaps a small mirrorless, you don't want the kind of larger head, you want the, the mini head. So you've got a, a, a choice of things to use. Now, finally, in the range, we've got this, which is the twin shooter. And the twin shooter mounts on top of one of these heads and allows you to put two lens systems on the same plane. So when you move it, you've got two lens systems and two different kinds of shots. And I'll explain more about that in a minute. So let's get the tripod in, get it set up, and show you the systems in action. In the style of every good cookery show, here's one that I prepared earlier. This is the Pro Head. Uh, you can use any head on there. So I've screwed it onto the top of the tripod. It's got a double ball head system. That's what allows it to do what it does. The first thing is you have to get the bottom ball head level. So it's controlled by this great big black lever here that you can pull out to give you some extra tension. And it's got a spirit level that relies on you having better eyesight than mine. And you'd think as a wildlife photographer, I have good eyesight and I don't. So I've now got that exactly level with the spirit. I'm tightening it up and I leave it. So that is now ready and level. So wherever I shoot the camera, it's gonna be entirely level. So I need a camera. It's a workout video, gone wrong. Um, I chose my 500, because I thought it's an extreme case. And the first thing you'll notice is that it's got a, a very different plate on the bottom. This is a special Arca Swiss plate that we make called Bigfoot. We make it because the standard plate that comes with a 500 is useless because it only has one point of contact there so your lens can swivel and also it's not long enough to get the center of balance so we make these replacement feet that are fantastic now there's a little guide on top of the head to tell you which way to put it and i'm going to put it and slot it in like this what i'm actually going to do is turn it sideways so you can see a lot better now there's two control knobs at the back one black one silver the black one controls the clamp so i'm going to tighten the clamp a bit and we just want to make sure Let's just tighten it a bit. It's tightening, tightening, tightening. That when we leave this camera, it's entirely level there. You've got to get the center of balance right. So a few of you, you know, you may find if you put a converter on, you'll, you'll be at one end or the other. Just get the balance right so it sits exactly in the middle. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but it does help. Screw that up. And then on the other side, you can undo that. This is your tightening knob. And the great thing about the Flex Shooter is that where you leave it, it stays and I don't have to lock it up. I can spin it around, provided I don't hit myself in the face. Um, but wherever you leave it out, if you finish shooting with a bird up there, you can just leave it and it will stay in position, or down there, it will stay in position. You don't actually have to do anything with it. I love it. But you've got to get the center of balance right, and it might mean a little bit of fine adjustment on this black knob. Now, of course, you don't have to lock it up. I mean, this is not one of the tripod heads that you have to lock up. But if you feel desperate that you want to lock it up tight, then you turn the silver knob, Perhaps you're gonna do a lock off. Perhaps something's gonna fly off the branch of a tree. So you get the silver knob and you tighten it as much as you can. Now the great thing is, a lot of tripod heads, when you tighten them up, what you'd set in the viewfinder goes out of the viewfinder and moves because the head moves. With, the, with this head, the flex shooter head, it doesn't. So what you see is what you get. We preserve that composition and nothing moves out of the viewfinder, which is brilliant. Um, as soon as you wanna unlock it, just unlock it and you can swivel it again. So that's the long lens, okay? But what happens if you've got a shorter lens? Well, it just so happens I've got one here. Here's a slightly shorter lens, 100 to 400 on uh, EOS R, so it's a mirrorless. So if you've got a mirrorless camera of any kind and lens, we don't care, we'll still support you very well. So you've got the Pro Heads, exactly the same, goes on. 
Be very careful as usual with lining up where your center of balance is going to be. I'm lining it up now and I'm going to tighten the black knob and see. I've got the silver one undone. Yep, pretty good. So it's going to go everywhere you want. You can take pictures and it will stay where, it, where you want it to be. Absolutely fantastic. You can lock it off with a silver knob, just the same, or just leave it undone as always. So we don't really care what lens you put on it. This is for lens mounted systems. Now, of course, some of you are going to want to mount your cameras directly onto it. And for that, I'm going to show you how to do it. Now for landscape or macro types, you may want to actually just shoot with a much shorter lens, in which case the lens doesn't come with a lens foot. Well, that's okay. Uh, you put your plate underneath, horizontally uh, underneath the bottom of the camera, making sure your lens sits forward like the long lens does, and you put it across the clamp, um, obviously, rather than lengthways. Now, the first thing you will notice, I'm doing it up now with a black knob, you can see there, doing it up. Obviously, the main weight of the camera is going to drag it forward slightly, so that you can't actually adjust the center of balance like this. Now, you can adjust the tension knob, maybe, where it will stay quite well. Okay, so I've got the tension knob adjusted um, and, th and that's what you can do. But mainly for the landscape photographers, your main advantage with this is A, you can suddenly swap from shooting wildlife to suddenly landscapes, but B, um, what you can actually do is what you see is what you get. So in other words, when you do lock up for your long exposures, if you need to, you know that the composition that you've spent ages trying to get is preserved, no matter how much you have to lock it up, we keep that in the viewfinder. And that's a really great thing because it keeps the shot that you want. Now there have been times as a wildlife photographer when I've wanted to shoot with a five or 600 and get a kind of a portrait shot. And then in the next second, I've wanted to take a picture of something in its habitat. So use a much wider angle. And I've had to run around trying to get one camera and trying to change the lens and trying to do all this kind of stuff. It wastes time and it loses the shot. Well, we've got an attachment called the twin shooter that stops all that. Stick it on. It's very light by the way. Tighten it up and it's basically got Two clamps. One clamp takes this lens. Da, 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 da. Oh, it's got a nice chunky knob on that now. And this clamp takes this lens. And you're gonna to have to balance them up a little bit and I suggest you balance the big one up. But it's not bad considering I haven't really balanced it. So that means you can go da, 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 da. oh my God, oh wide angle, shoot that 100 mil, da, 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 600. And I did this with squirrels. You can see on, on the website, you'll find a, a red squirrel video where I did use this for jumping squirrels and then squirrels in portrait mode. It's a really fantastic thing. It's called the uh, twin shooter. It weighs very little um, and it's just fantastic if you want to vary the shots that you have um, or maybe use a mirrorless on one side and a DSLR on the other, or even a video on one side and a DSLR on the other. One, even two DSLRs, one set for video and one set for stills. You can use it for anything, it's brilliant. Twin shooter, awesome. There you have it, that's the complete range of Flex Shooter products. How amazing are they? And you may be saying to me, Andy, Andy, it looks great. How does it work? I need to know how it works. I don't know how it works. That's what the geeks do at HQ, and we keep them locked away at HQ. But I can tell you it's got patented, spring-loaded, technology. I can also tell you that I've been testing it hard for a long time before you ever saw it and in the last year and a half, two years, it's been traveling around the world with me in my professional life in situations you wouldn't want to be in and it has never let me down. I've let myself down but it's never let me down with my pictures. It's been fantastic. So you've seen all the amazing heads that we've got and the twin shooter and the big foot plates. Uh, I suggest that today you free your photography and have a look at Flex Shooter because I think we're awesome.